Anjul Prakash, I want to come to you first. Give our viewers a sense of the topography. The you know, I was seeing that international expert who's on the ground talk about how the soil is very loose and why that makes it so difficult to be able to mount this kind of a rescue operation. See, uh, Rahul, you must understand that the Himalayan, uh, you know, mountain systems are one of the youngest in the world. It is one of the most fragile as much as we know, uh, if you compare with other mountains of the world. And that means that it is, we have to really, when whatever we are doing in this uh, situation, we must take ultimate care of uh, the construction process that we have. And that's the major reason why, and it's not only about the Eastern, Western Himalayan, all across Himalayan regions, this we must have to understand that this these are systems which are very 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 fragile and that means that construction process must take care of uh, certain uh, you know peculiarities of the region that we have that's number one number two i would like to also uh, put uh, forward here is the kind of mindless development which is happening i think this uh, this is a larger issue we can come back to this but it is a very very mindless development that we are seeing in the himalayan region which is creating havoc after havoc and that is creating problem for all of us who are concerned about the region Okay, uh, General Dimri, you were an engineer first and foremost. And from an engineering perspective, explain the various rescue efforts which are being attempted. You know, from both ends of the tunnel, uh, I'll want our producers to play uh, that animation out once again, and then the general can explain from an engineering perspective how this is likely to work out. So you've got an operation happening from both ends of the tunnel. You've got an operation happening. Uh, from the top and you've got a horizontal operation happening as well. So which of these is most likely to succeed? If you were helming this operation at this moment, what would you be most concerned about? General Dimri. Yeah, thank you, Rahul. So firstly, a soldier first, sapper next. Right? Okay, having said that, uh, I think just about every option that uh, we could have been thinking of is being a good one. That we got a six inch pipe through today has only lent much more credibility to the effort and raised our hopes as well. Now, when you look at this tunnel, it's a four and a half kilometer tunnel that's planned. You got a two and a half kilometer that's been drilled from one side, that's the Silkiara side, and from the Barcourt side, we come in one and a half kilometer, and there's about a 480 meter patch in between. Now, 250 meters from the Silkiara side is where this collapse of the landslide is. Happening. So our friends, the 40 workers trapped inside, are essentially a two-kilometer stretch. That's where they are. The good part is that we were able to establish contact very early. And now the hopes of survival increase as we push them by the pipe through. What are our options? Well, the first option, obviously, that comes to mind is you drill through the lands. Anybody's guess in military parlance, are you reinforcing failure? But that's where it uh, was weak. And that's where it came down. But then on the other side, are you exploiting opportunity? Because whatever had to come down has come down. In fact, if you ask a sapper, the most or the safest place to enter a minefield is the place where a blast is already at. So uh, that's there. So we do have chances of getting through the 60 meter patch. Unfortunately, 28 meters down, we a block two days ago. We started again. That's one. What are the other options? Come from the top. That's close. And we're attempting this at two places. Yes. And uh, anybody can guess how much time it's going to take from there. Right. The third option is to come from the barcode side. But then you want to drill 480 meters. So that's going to take a long time. Well, there's yet another option. Come from a side. And that's also being thought of. And things are being planned on that. So I don't think we've left any option uh, that we're not going to try out. Uh, earlier you asked a question, how much time? I don't think uh, we should lay a time limit to this. If you go by the first option from the frontal option, well, yes, 72 hours, as somebody said, could be a little more. But then in such situations, I've well got enough experience of these kind of things. I think we need to be prepared for the long run. What if one doesn't? We're going to take perhaps more time, a week, 10 days, 15 days. So yes, you've got to be patient, you've got to be resilient, and most important part is you've got to be in contact with the people inside, what we are doing, and making 
better and better efforts. In fact, after the six inch pipe, we're perhaps we're going to be going in for much more, right? And get the survive. You've got to take out it. In such a situation of such disaster, we will get checked this. Well, firstly, are the survival needs being met? Well, yes, they've been done. Number two, have the experts been called? Yes, the medical experts, the physical, psychological, they're there. Have the geologists, or more specifically, the engineering geologists, been recognized? I'm told they are all there. Drilling experts, they're there. Tunneling experts, yes, they're there. Have the equipment been brought? Now, this is how we do it. In Yes, like the final so, but can I ask you this sound. question, General Dimri, about yes, you. just the soil? You know, we saw how loose the soil there was. Now, what I'm, and I'm, I mean, I'm the furthest thing from being an engineer, but what I'm what imagining in my head is you've got these drilling machines going in, their soil, you could potentially create, uh, you know, a situation where the soil falls and you have either a small or big collapse further where more soil is getting into the area where the tunnel is. So, how much of a danger is that? Well, yes, uh, yes, one could imagine a situation like that. But yes, uh, I would say leave it to the experts. They know their job. When they go in, they just don't go drilling in. When they go in, they put some shards and supports for the whatever part they do. It's only then they go in further, put more supports. Where the things are weak, they put in additional supports. And that's how drilling is done. Right? So I don't think uh, we should uh, question the judgment of the experts who are doing this particular drilling. So they're going to do a good job of it and they're going to put... <coughs> whatever support systems are required and we saw some of those in your clips that you were showing they were being moved there. right so i don't see much of a danger that side but yes is it is it a good, good idea to be building these tunnels you know the geologist made this point about just the kind of construction that's taking place in uh, uttarkashi because the chardam yatra and in that general area and the risks given the new the newness of these mountains the looseness of the soil it's happened now in the silkiara area but this could happen again at any time not because of anything wrong with the way the construction is being done but just because of the nature of the soil over there no oh, well yes it could we know the himalayan geology is fragile and uh, but that doesn't should that shouldn't be stopping us from doing what we need to we need these kind of connectivities that we're going in for these charta boots are the exact kind of things that we need remember this is a border state and you desperately need these kind of connectivities and uh, tunnels perhaps could provide good answers because uh, more than just connectivities, they do so much more, right? But that's a separate uh, discussion altogether. So what I'd like to say is that, yes, at the moment, uh, avoid any overcrowding on sites, avoid overhype on this. Let the experts do their job. They know their job and they're doing it and we got them in good uh, capacities and good numbers in India, right? And lastly, be patient, be resilient. Uh, we wish everybody a very safe and early exit. Come out in two, three days if it has to be, but be prepared for the long haul. Remain resilient. That's my message.